Hi again, February 12th, the intensive here in New York Fish Kill. Um, it's the afternoon time, it's 6.05 p.m. A lot of people are getting ready to go eat, but I wanted to make a video here uh, and just let you know a little bit about what happened for the afternoon session of, uh, of today. So, I'll talk a little bit about Puppet Master. Puppet Master is what uh, Sigong Samchen had compared himself to. Because when he's, you know, connecting and touching with someone else, he can, in a way, control them like a puppet. And he is uh, teaching us that way, this this Zhong Xindao and, and the, you know, in, in Ili Tran, that's uh, where, we're, where we're getting towards. Um, of course, that's not the focus, but that's just something that's interesting to keep in the back of your head. Okay, the first thing that we did when we came back from our break, lunch break, um, was expanding to the point. So he had a lot of people come up to him and put their finger in his arm or in his chest or in his shoulder. And he basically expanded to that portion of his body and they felt the pressure at the point of their contact with him. So multiple people, there was a lot of folks. And, and he did that to all of them and he was able to sense where they are and their, how many, you know, how much pressure and, and just enough he was able to give them pressure so that they all felt it. That was fat, fantastic. So he had us doing that um, partner work style. So we would go with someone else and we put their our, our finger right on their wrist and we would expand to that point so that they would feel the pressure back. And of course, we had to keep the connection that we had learned in the morning with our Da Tian and our Ming Men uh, so that all of that which we had previously learned is kept up, but except now we're, we're, we're focusing on the point of expanding to that point. So I thought that was uh, very interesting. Some of the mistakes that people made, including myself, going past the point. So if you expand way too much and you start pushing and giving resistance, you're using, you know, you're using your own energy, you're pushing past the point and you're not being exact. And position is important. Uh, some people, you know, myself included, going too fast, slow it down. Uh, and timeliness is more important than than having speed. Being able to use uh, a slower movement in order to have your attention precisely where it needs to be at the time of the changes. Um, and also, you know, it is possible to go straight to the shoulder and, and, and to the to the mass. But in the beginning, it's important to get the ability of uh, of connecting to the point. Uh, instead of trying to do everything else. Just get that first. And once you can do that multiple times in perhaps different areas in, in your body, then you'll be good to go. All right, second thing that he had us do, he, we had a little break, and when we came back, we did vertical rolling, uh, a dialogue exercise where another person would come to us, and we would basically use the ver vertical rolling, as we were talking before, this rotating, uh, and go in and, and come back. And this also spoke to the half lines, which are within Zhong Xinda. So the half lines of, of maybe crossing over and to keep your half lines by continuing to have fullness at the point of contact and expanding and condensing to it so that they're not able to cross over. Um, some of the mistakes that people were making uh, was that not dialoguing. So they would get here, for example, myself, I would get here and then I would just pull back but that's what the other person's doing, right? They are attacking you and you're doing the defense. So if you bring them to you, it's like you're doing them a favor. Right? You're, you're allowing them to attack you. So I get there and I have to wait till the other person moves. And then I turn it and, and bring it back to me. Okay? So uh, not dialoguing was a problem. Pulling back too far, going past your body. Uh, ruins your structure. You want to keep it. To, to where the body structure is natural, not using your qua. So this is basically integrating your body so that everything moves as one. Uh, so not using your qua, not coordinating the rotation of your hand with your center axis in this movement, um, you know, not projecting and expanding all that, uh, which you've previously learned has to come together and it has to be um, all as one. So that was that. I, I, I bet a lot of people are now going to go eat, and I will as well, okay? and I wish you well. Until the next time, bye.